Isabel. So I'm back and if you guys don't follow me on social media, you probably are like, I didn't know you were gone. But yes, I decided to take a little break from social media and from posting so much and making videos for a little bit. I did make a video and that was just like a fun fashion video, but I wanted to get back into alignment. Just took a 10 day break from social media and I told myself I wasn't going to limit myself or tell myself how long I had to be away or tell myself I have to be away for this long. I just wanted to come back when I felt ready. So basically I posted just a picture and a caption that, you know, I just said I wasn't feeling like myself. And every time I go through like a slump or I go through something, there really wasn't like a catalyst to how I felt. There wasn't like a bad moment or you know something that changed my life or anything but it was just me my body my mind my spirit was telling me hey there's something off with you something is not right you don't feel good and a lot of times we tend to think oh you know we're just depressed or we're just this or we're just that or this and that but for me it was like why i don't understand why i'm feeling this way and then i came to realize it was just a bunch of things that had happened not necessarily bad things but a bunch of lessons that i needed to learn from throughout the course of the past year and it all just kind of came to a head i just didn't feel like myself anymore i felt like i had to change things i felt like i needed to change something in my life and not necessarily anything physical <laughs> obviously i look the same probably but I just felt like I needed to change my mentality, my focus, just the way I dealt with things. And I took a 10 day break from social media because even though social media really wasn't an issue for me that much, I felt like I needed to step back from this platform, from things, from just expectations and just be myself. Just be okay with stepping back from working so much and working so hard and being so focused and driven towards my goals that I didn't actually stay present in the moment and think and just stop and reflect. So I just wanted to make this video to perhaps help you or inspire you if you feel like you're in a place, in a bad mental place, or you just don't feel like yourself anymore, or you think you may be depressed, or you think that you might have anxiety or different kind of issues. When you're so in tune with your body and any little thing changes or any little thing is out of whack, it's kind of like, wow, what, what's going on? So if you feel like you're lethargic, you feel like you just aren't yourself, you're not happy, even drinking a cup of coffee doesn't wake you up, it could be that your health is not too good and you need to pay more attention to your health and what you're putting into your body, but also what's going on up here because this controls all of this. So when your mind is not unhealthy, and I say it so much, mental health is more important than physical health because without good mental health, your physical health will deteriorate. So you have to pay attention to your mental health. You have to pay attention to that because one little thing like a cut or a bruise or anything will seem a thousand times worse if your mental state is not in alignment, if your mental state is not good. I felt like I was putting a lot of pressure on myself and it's fine. It's not really like pressure to be perfect or pressure to do things, but pressure to always be on and not allow myself to kind of be relaxed and take my time and <laughs> be more mindful of things. That's one thing is that I love to work. I love to be creative. I love to do things and I love all that stuff. And it's awesome because whenever I was young, I was not like that. I was very, I was huge procrastinator. I didn't like to plan ahead. I was just complete opposite to who I am now. So I love the feeling of being productive, but there comes a point where a lot of times being productive is being counterproductive because instead of taking time and working smartly, you're just overworking yourself to the point where you can't work anymore. And that's how I kind of was. I'm not gonna say I was a workaholic or anything like that, but just expecting too much out of myself when I was kind of empty inside and not feeling fulfilled. It was basically that. It was basically not taking a time to just be myself and disconnecting from social media. I get so, 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 so many DMs and it gets to a point where, and I'm not saying this to discourage you from writing me or 
just writing me sweet messages. I read all your messages even though I probably don't get to respond to all of them. I read them, I try to reply, but it gets to a point where I spread myself too thin. I'm so in tune with myself and my body and my emotions that when I know something's wrong, I can't just ignore it because it's just like festering, you know? It just festers and festers and festers until Finally, I'm like, okay, fine. What's going on? What do I need to change? I'm an empath, so whenever I read messages that aren't positive and happy, and they're usually, you know, people tell me their life story and things like that, and I appreciate that you have that trust that you can be tell me all your personal stories and I love it and I love to help you guys that's what I made my videos for is to help and to inspire and just to show you that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel no matter what you're going through but it really does take a toll on me sometimes and I have to take a step back when it's sometimes I read these messages and sometimes it resonates so much with me in my own life that I kind of brings back memories or brings back a feeling or a place where I was I know a lot through my own experiences so that's why whenever I communicate with you guys, it's through my own experience. Obviously, I'm not telling you what a psychiatrist would tell you. I'm telling you like a friend, you know, that's what my advices are. They're like a friend. They're just like from my own experience and what I've learned in my own journey that's probably not too different from yours. So I had to take a step back from reading DMs and things like that because it got to a point where it was affecting me. <laughs> that's why I'm like, okay, Isabel, like you love doing this. You love listening to people. You love connecting with people. Don't turn it into something that you don't like to do anymore. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing. I don't want it to get to a point where I am scared of opening my DMs and I'm scared of, you know, being hounded and this and that over and over because I am not haven't responded or this or that. I was scared of that and that's why I kind of took a step back and I have to find a way to funnel and answer everyone's DMs without it overwhelming me and <laughs> getting to a point of, because as much as I appreciate it, it does take a toll on me in a way. So please don't ever take it as me being ungrateful or complaining at all. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it how it is and how it was for me and how I felt and how it made me feel. And it's important to address things and look at things head on and not ignore them or ignore the elephant in the room because that's never a good way. It's always important to talk and always important to work through your emotions, question why you feel a certain way. And that helps you. That is a way you can go through your own therapy and go through your own kind of self-reflection that helps us get back into alignment. I don't want to sound like I don't appreciate and love you guys so much. I do and it's because of that I want to be at my best so I can be there for you guys and we can support each other and you guys gave me so much support during this time. I deleted Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter so I wouldn't be tempted to get on but when I re downloaded my Instagram and I just had the flooding of messages from you guys it was it was really heartwarming and to read all your comments on that post was super super heartwarming for me and made me feel like I actually am connected with you guys and I'm, I'm so so grateful for each and every one of you and those of you who took time to write me messages of support and just understanding so thank you guys I appreciate it so much and I appreciate the love more than you could imagine the love is just overwhelmingly beautiful and thank you so yeah enough of my rambling I want to get into these tips that I have for you guys that really help me get back into alignment what I want you guys to take away from this little preface or whatever this introduction that was super long is to not necessarily find a reason why you're feeling a certain way it's important to be self-aware it's important to understand limiting beliefs and understand why you're feeling a certain way but sometimes we just have to accept that our mind and our body is just sometimes it's gonna decline a little bit or it's gonna get back up or you're gonna feel better in a few days or in a few weeks sometimes we have a little decline in life it's okay to go through valleys it's part of being human it's okay not being perfect all the time and always on and always happy it's absolutely okay and you don't have to find a reason for the way you're feeling it doesn't have to do with anyone your relationships the money you have the home you live in it has absolutely nothing to do with that sometimes sometimes it's just our mind that's just being human a lot of times it's just telling us that we need to change we need to change something we need to be more mindful we need to be more present more at peace with ourselves and not expect so much from ourselves all the time or maybe we do need to expect something from ourselves instead of expecting things so much from the world around us or the people around us we expect things to make us feel better 
or people or situations or a pill to make us feel better when in reality we hold the power inside. Before I get into it, just realize it's okay to just pause, take a look around, breathe, and just figure out what's going on around you, what's going on inside of you. What is it that is making you feel different than you were? And it's fine to just stop and figure things out and regroup. It's fine. You don't have to be 100% all the time. And you also have to let go of the notion that life is perfect. Life doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to be perfect either. It's actually good to change your plans and to take risks and just change whatever course you're on and change up your goals, change up your dreams, whatever it is. If you feel like something's no longer giving you passion or happiness, then maybe that is something you need to kind of change up a bit as well. It's so important to just talk out your problems, talk through your problems, talk to somebody, write it out. Find some kind of medium to express your problems and express your feelings instead of just bottling up your emotions and pretending they're not there because that is what will bring them to a head and it will just gush out all over the place so make sure you are being authentic and honest with yourself and about your life and it just relieves so much pressure so if you're feeling out of whack try these things because they definitely help me and number one is to drink more water and I know that sounds so cliche it sounds so generic it sounds so like well duh you know everyone says to drink more water for clean skin but to be honest, drinking more water has way more benefits than just your skin and your body and your health. It's your mental health too because our brain is a huge percentage water. Our brain needs water. Our bodies are water, basically. So we need water. And the thing is, a lot of times we're dehydrated and we don't even know it. We have no idea that we're dehydrated. And I started feeling bad when I got back from my trip in Colombia and I hadn't been sleeping well on my trip. I stayed up my entire birthday from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. the next day so I hadn't been drinking that much water and traveling dehydrates you and that's kind of when it all kind of went downhill so if I would have started drinking water I probably wouldn't have felt as bad dehydration can many times feel like depression it can feel like fatigue loss of interest things like that because when you're dehydrated your mind can't work your mind is also running low and your body is gonna feel like you don't have energy. Drink water before every meal. Drink water when you first wake up in the morning, which is what I do. I have a big cup that I just fill to the top with water and I leave it on my bedside table. And in the morning, I just chug it and it automatically wakes me up. So I don't really need coffee. I don't need caffeine or anything to wake me up in the morning because that water instantly just peps me right up. So, you know, it's funny because some symptoms of dehydration include fatigue, dizziness, rapid heartbeat, muscle cramps, irritability, lack of energy, all those things that a lot of times we attribute to depression or just feeling down or sad could just be dehydration. So drink your water and make sure you drink a lot of it. If you feel hungry, drink water. See, maybe you're not hungry. Maybe you're just thirsty. A lot of times our body confuses thirst with hunger. So a really good weight loss tip is also to drink more water. Take a look at your symptoms if you're feeling down and Maybe it's just water. <laughs> so my second tip obviously is to delete social media, take a break, take a social media detox. You guys don't know how much better I feel now that it's not like a default for me to just get on my phone and go instantly to Instagram when I wake up. It just feels so nice. And this is something that I have said in the past, but I never actually took it seriously because it never really affected me before. Yeah, social media was kind of a burden sometimes, and kind of annoying, kind of a waste of time, a big waste of time, but I never really took it to the point where I'm deleting these apps and I'm not getting on them for a while. I'm not an addictive person. I'm just not an addictive personality, so for me, to stop at first it was like mm, I kind of missed going to it so I just deleted the app so I didn't have that temptation to get on them the moment that I felt like oh I wonder what's going on on Instagram I instantly got this feeling of like I actually don't want to get on Instagram I don't want to read down the app so I was planning on coming back a little sooner to 10 days is really nothing to be gone to be quite honest I could go on longer take a break from those things especially if you feel like maybe your self-esteem is being hit hard maybe if you feel like you don't feel good every time you scroll through pictures and images and things and you feel bad about yourself or your life or whatever definitely it's that's a huge sign to just take a break delete the app you don't have to delete your account but just delete the app and be off of it for a while now I had way more time to read and actually had better focus when I read better overall mental 
state when I got off of it and I didn't feel like a sense of dread like oh my god I have to go answer all these DMs I have to go do this and it's nice it's nice to just be yourself and just relax it was really nice because even when I go on vacation I don't have time to relax because I'm always like doing something you know what I mean so I never really get time to just chill out and relax and not feel like something's expected of me I guess you could say and just take as long as you need trust me people aren't gonna think you died if you get off of social media your life is not gonna end your social life isn't gonna end if you get on off of social media actually in fact your social life might actually bloom and prosper if you get off of social media because you actually have to go and meet up with people to see them and to talk with them and if you have a dependency on it and posting and things like that it's okay to be more private and take your life off of the public arena and be private and do things in private and not feel like you have to share everything with people it's actually really healthy to be that way it's just gonna help you stay present be true to yourself and not worry so much about what everyone else is doing and what everyone else's life may seem like because a lot of times we're going through stuff and we see people living the life of their dreams and having the time of their lives we often feel really really bad and that can often make our situation way worse our mind will make our situation way worse because we're like wow i'm going through a really crappy situation these people are often bora bora or often a private jet and look at me sitting at home all upset and crying don't feel like you're gonna miss out on anything if you take a break so my third tip is to practice mindfulness now this could obviously be meditation for me meditation so my third tip is to practice mindfulness and this could manifest itself in many Many ways you can meditate just sit in silence for a few minutes and close your eyes or journal or just write out your thoughts or paint or color and coloring books are awesome what really helped me was my infinite agenda because even though I wasn't doing YouTube work or podcasts or any of that which by the way guys I started a podcast <laughs> And I haven't made a video about it. The links are down below. You can listen to it on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. So I have two episodes up and I have to work on a third episode for you guys. But I'm going to make a video about my podcast. I haven't made like a formal YouTube announcement. But those of you who follow me on social media know all about. So anyways, I haven't been working on that stuff recently. But I love my infinite agenda, which I have a 50% off coupon code. And the link is down below. So you guys go check it out because you really need one of these in your life if you feel like you need to balance gratitude and the law of attraction with your daily agenda. And I have a whole video on it. It's my planning routine. I did it a couple few weeks ago, so check that one out if you want to know more in depth about how I plan my day and things like that. But I love my infinite agenda. This one is the blush and rose gold one. Percentage of the proceeds go to different charities, so I highly, highly recommend this one. And I love it because every single section every day has a place to write down today i'm looking forward to dot 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 you write down everything you're looking forward to and even a place to write a gratitude list so it's really helpful in just staying present and working towards mindfulness and gratitude and the law of attraction all in one so every time i open this book i just feel like a rush of good vibes and good energy and it's because of your intention you put in your intentions in here and you write down how you feel there's a section to make your own dream board and just things like that every month you can have stuff to look forward to so it's just really really changed my mindset for the better and it's actually helped me plan out more effectively without piling so much stuff on myself so the link is down below and you can get your 50% off with my code isabel50 i want you guys to look at mindfulness not as a chore not as something i have to do but something that should just come naturally to you and something that should come as a pleasure as a joy to write down how you feel write down your feelings write down what is making you feel a certain way or what you're happy about, what you're grateful for. And if you feel like you just in a really negative space, it's really important just to start out with a really small gratitude list. It could be on a little piece of paper, it could be a little section of your notebook and your agenda, writing down the smallest little things like, I have so much to be grateful for right now. I have you guys, I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for my camera, my, the clothes on my back, the fact that I have hair on my head. I'm grateful for him. <laughs> I'm grateful for my phone. I'm grateful for, there's just so many things I can be grateful for. And we often take those little things for granted, but you have to be grateful for every single thing. That is really gonna shift your mindset. And that brings you present, that makes you feel more present. We all have our creative outlets. We all have our ways to express ourselves. So just find 
time what it is that brings you joy every time you do it. Maybe you can write letters to your feelings. I know that's really funny, but it's very therapeutic, so try that out, definitely. And then tip number four is to uncommit to yourself. And I know that might sound a little bad. It might sound like, whoa, you're just gonna let go of all your dreams and your goals because you're feeling bad. Well, you don't have to let go of your dreams and your goals and your vision. Take a moment to breathe and reevaluate what it is that's driving you, what it is you're working towards, and question whether it's worth it. Question if this is what you really want. And I think it's so important to question everything. Even if you're so sure about a relationship, even if you're so sure about a job, about a career, about a move that you're gonna make, or a certain lifestyle choice that you're making, be sure to question that it's done for the right reasons and not just because you put pressure on yourself to be perfect or to have a perfect mindset or a perfectly balanced life. And question whether you have to go to yoga today. If it's something that you don't look forward to, question. Maybe I could be doing a different exercise. Maybe yoga just isn't for me. Just because everyone else on YouTube is doing it or all the spiritual gurus are doing it doesn't mean that yoga is for you. Question why you have a blog if you feel like getting on it is giving you stress or you feel like you're putting so much pressure on yourself, question why you're doing it or question if you're doing it for the right reasons and maybe change up the reasons you're doing it. You know, just kind of uncommit from yourself, uncommit from who you feel like you're supposed to be. Because at the end of the day, we're just a soul living in a meat suit and we're really whatever we wish to be. And we're so used to putting labels on ourselves and putting expectations on ourselves, telling us we have to have this or this by this age or this kind of relationship, this kind of thing. So it's good to kind of uncommit and kind of let go of those things and just be, and just be present and just be yourself and just allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling. Allow yourself to look like a slob. Allow yourself to get dressed up if that's what's giving you life and giving you good vibes. Allow yourself to go to church even if you haven't been to church in years. Allow yourself to do things you've never done. Don't feel like you have to push yourself and do things. Sometimes it's okay to just let go and just relax a bit because if you're always trying to be on, you're really just like pedaling and pedaling and pedaling and you're not getting anywhere. It's like a stream is pushing you and you're trying to push up against the stream. In the end, you're not getting anywhere. Life a lot of times is working smart, working through your emotions, working through your feelings and being smart about your feelings and smart about what you're doing instead of just doing and doing and doing and doing and being go, go, go and never stopping and taking a breather. So that's what I mean by uncommitting to yourself. Maybe even taking a break from your relationships. Maybe even just talking things out and <laughs> having a fight. Fighting with somebody or telling someone, hey, I don't like it when you do this and this and this. But don't spread yourself too thin. If you're spreading yourself too thin, you're not getting anything done. You're just half-assing a bunch of things at once instead of fully asking one thing. And you should full ass yourself, always. Always give 100% to yourself. If you're not feeling well, you need to stop and be like, hey, I can take a few hour break, a, an hour break from this project. I can take a few days break from this or that, or you know, I don't have to go to that party tonight, or I don't have to plan that vacation if I don't feel like it, or if I, it's draining me. You know, you can take a break, it's okay, you're human, it's fine. You don't have to be perfect all the time, you don't have to be on and doing everything all at once. You don't have to be a superhero all the time. You don't always have to be perfect. It's fun to be productive, it's fun to do a lot of things at once, it's fun to just accomplish things, but it's also a-okay to just chill out and be yourself and be present. If you don't feel like going to something, don't feel like going to it. You know, if it's not an obligation, if you don't absolutely have like work, I understand people have to go to work, people have to go to school, people can't just stop going to work or stop going to school, but if it's something that you absolutely don't have to do, but you feel like a pressure from someone or from society or anyone to go do it, just don't do it. If you have the choice not to go, then don't go. And spend it doing little things that you love to do. Simple pleasures maybe you forgot about doing or forgot all about. And that's where you can find your joy again. It's truly beautiful to get back into yourself and reconnect with who you are and what your purpose is. And you don't have to have a purpose, really. You don't have to pressure yourself into finding a purpose. It just kind of comes naturally. And by taking a break from this and taking a step back, I realize that this is my purpose more than ever. Because when you let something go for a little bit and you don't feel obligated to do it, then you're like, wow, I really want to do it. So I took a break from filming and from YouTube and doing all this to realize, wow, I actually love this. I love you guys so very much. I hope this video helped you and resonated with you. And I hope that it helps you just to relax and just to be and realize that we're on earth for such a limited amount of time and a lot of times we waste it worrying about things and people 
that don't really matter and ideas and expectations and we're so idealistic about how we want our life to be and we see everyone else and we think everyone else has it together when in reality they probably don't have it together so it's fine to just be yourself and just chill out for a little while this journey can look different for everyone and some of you are probably like Isabel this is crazy like I love to do work I love to be I love my life if you love your life that's great I want you guys to love your life I want you to love where you are in this moment in every moment but sometimes we fall off and we gotta get back up somehow and this is how I hope you will go about it and for everyone this will look different for some people it will take more time for some people it will take more effort for some people it will take therapy a lot for a lot of people it'll take different things but it's really important just to acknowledge that something needs to be done and something needs to be changed and go through a new direction and with a new mindset in life and that's how we evolve if we're constantly changing we can evolve and new levels of our life are going to take new levels of ourselves we're going to have to change and level up in life in order to keep on going and keep on growing as long as we keep getting better that's what really matters i love you guys so 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 very much and i hope you like this video if you like this long rambly video please give me a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below if this resonated with you if you have any tips with getting back into alignment getting back into who you are then please comment down below and if you feel like you've had like a recent like spiritual awakening i guess you could call it then please leave me your comments down below as well and i just feel so overjoyed right now i don't know i feel i feel really good <laughs> don't forget to follow me on social media because i'm back and all my links are down below and at the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me i will see you guys in my next next video which will be very soon because I'm going to be back on my upload schedule. Always remember guys that no matter what you're going through in life, no matter what you may look like, no matter how your life is, no matter what career you're in or if you have dreams and goals and visions or you don't or you're just a mess, but you'll get back together I promise. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter who you are, your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power always come from within. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.